The use of candlelight dates back as far as 400 BC. And nowadays we use them to add a touch of fragrance in the air or set the mood for dinner and remind us how old we are. Jasmine Murray is a chandler or candle maker. Today she shows us the science behind how they are made and the science is really in the precision. And we're gonna start weighing out our oil. Here at Candlefish, we pour a 10% oil to wax ratio. Okay. Um, a common misconception in candle making is that um, in order to make an extra strong candle, you wanna pour more oil, but that's a big no-no because extra oil can clog your cotton wick, which is what we use, um, and then you'll end up with no scent at all. So it is important to be as precise as possible. The scents are measured first. Um, this is jasmine water lilies in Mugwe. Jasmine picks jasmine. Yes. Go figure. Oh. Okay. I have sent 25, which is? Bergamot, leather, lavender, and moss. Oh. <laughs> A little more manly, right? Most candles you see today are made with paraffin synthetic based candle. But here at Candlefish, soy wax is the preferred product. The soy wax, I love it just because it burns nice and slow. Your average candle is paraffin. Paraffin is petroleum based and it burns really fast. But soy wax is going to burn a lot slower and give you a nice soft scent throw. <laughs> Wax flakes are heated 185 to 190 degrees. After whisking the wax and fragrance together, we need to let it cool down to 110 degrees. While that's happening, we prepare our wicks. The most important thing when gluing down your wick is making sure the wick tab is centered on the bottom of the vessel. Um, this will determine how evenly your candle burns. So Once the wax cools, we pour it in the vessel. Wicks are kept straight by propping sticks on top of the glass. And now we wait for the wax to harden. Yay! Well, congrats. You're official Chandler. Thank How do you so feel? Uh, I feel Chandler-esque. <laughs> Very Chandler-esque. Yeah, well, we'll see once the uh, candle solidifies. We'll see how, yes. how well I've done. And here it is. The candles have hardened, uh, <laughs> if you will. All right, so we have two of jasmines, which is that jasmine scent. I'm going to give the ladies. Smell it. Oh, right, so you it get that really one. Good. All right, and then let me see, where's it at? Thank you. Yeah, take that one. And then, Crash, you get the, the whole, the man one, mm. Mm. It's made with leather in it. Man and smell that. Yeah, yeah. So these are the ones I made <laughs> leather and it's tree beautiful. twigs. Yeah, oh, well, like smell the leather one. See if you like that. Which one you like better? Mm. Let me smell yours. Yes. Mm -mm. See. It smells like moss and leather. <laughs> <laughs> they're Take both, they're Yours both is, great. They're both, pretty good. they're yeah, both yeah, great. Yeah. Oh my god. They have glasses yeah. over there at Candlefish as well, so if you want to go over there and make your own candles, you can do that. It's a great date idea. It yeah. is. Yeah. You know, great family idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. Looking for something to do. Yeah, Thank you. There you go. Thank you so much, Jess. Right. This is so cool.